Hi, this is a video on how to get uh, certain CNC uh, tables to work using the Mac 3 software. This is the CNC table in question. Standard stepper motors and the control box which is switched on at the moment. The emergency stop button is definitely pushed in. In the document that comes with the uh, CNC table, it says you need to set up the printer port as an EPP port. Um, it doesn't actually say that you need to do this in the BIOS anyway, it just hopes you'll figure it out. So you go into the BIOS, and on mine it's under integrated peripherals, super IO device, and down here we see parallel port mode, ECP plus EPP. Uh, that's an option my BIOS supports. And also run it as pure EPP. Uh, having looked at the signals coming out of the parallel port, it looks like it'll actually work in a standard parallel port mode, so this is probably not actually that vital, but this is what it looks like to make that setting. So now I'm going to save that and boot the system. I'll be back in a second when it's done so. so the software is now booted up. Uh, we can see here the emergency e-stop button is flashing away and it says here press reset emergency stop activated and if I click that it doesn't really want to cooperate because our e-stop button is still pushed in. We also note I can't control the motors as we expect. So, let's dis disable the emergency stop, reset the software, and if we look here, we should be able to see the stepper motors moving, right? Except nothing. So let's just check our port and pin configurations. Motor outputs. So this is a three axis CNC table. We've got X, Y, and Z enabled. The step pins are on two, four, and six. The direction pins on three, five, and seven. Step port and direction port should be uh, on one. This actually refers to the parallel port connector that you'll be using. Most people have only got one anyway, and this control box only takes one. So it should be one in both cases, and you'll also note step low, and I should say step low active is tick. Direction low active should be uh, red X's, step low active green ticks. Reset due to configuration changes. So why isn't it moving? Perhaps it's the motor tuning. This is also described in the document. So, X axis, 400, 2000, 200, 10, 3. Y axis, again, 400, 2000, 200, 10, 3. Z axis, 400, 800, 100, 10, 3. Exactly as the manual states. So why isn't it moving? What is missing from the manual is a motor enable pin. I actually found this whilst trying to debug why the thing wasn't actually moving. There's an enable pin on each of the driver chips that control this one for each axis. And I traced it back with an oscilloscope and found that it was connected to an optocoupler, which meant it had to be connected to the parallel port somewhere. So here's what I've done. This enable one line, I'm gonna turn that on. Port one, pin 14, active low is red X. Hit OK on that. Reset the E-stop. And 
as if by magic. Suddenly it starts working. Isn't that amazing? One missing instruction. Okay, I'm going to get this set up to do some CNC and then I'll record the result. Okay, we're ready to do some CNC engraving here. I've got the Roadrunner file loaded up. I've set the scale to 0.3 and turned the feed rate down to 20%. Um, because I am engraving this on a piece of plywood that is not quite big enough for the whole thing. In fact, the bit still may go right off the edge, but hopefully not. So we'll turn on spindle, make sure our e-stop is off. I've already zeroed this out um, and raised the bit up, which is why you see the Z axis here is at plus 0.53 hopefully make it so it will start so we'll do some fun things Okay, so it's finally reached the end of the G-code program. So, raise the bit. Flip off the spindle. Unlock the piece. See what we've got. So it was a bit crude because it was on a piece of plywood. But hopefully you can see the vague road runner shape in that. It's also going to be quite a bit of tear out because it is plywood and because it was scaled down. But yeah, it does work. So always remember, pin 14, motor enable.